Hello, everybody. Did you react here? And today we're gonna be reacting to Mr. Beast's um, hydraulic press versus Lamborghini. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, before you ask, yes, I did change the screen setup. I recently moved my desk, as you can see by my green screen being over there instead of normally behind me. So, well, I'll be moving the green screen eventually, just not yet. But I recently moved my desk around, so this is the new camera position. I hope nobody minds, it's just... I've tried to keep it in the original position, but it just does not look good anymore, because, well... The whole thing's been kind of screwed up a bit. So this is going to be the new position. I hope no one's bothered by that. And yeah. So we're just going to react to this today. And I got nothing else to say. So let's just hop right into this. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year. We're about to test things that no one has ever tested before like flattening a lamborghini with a hydraulic press oh boy a building with a real spider-man <laughs> the world's largest elephant toothpaste experiment filling a pool oh boy alien orbies holy crow uh, crow <laughs> cow brick wall can stop this train this wall let's is see 20 feet tall and three feet thick it's not going down easy give the orders uh large cheese <laughs> It's in the train. Train us. The Here we go. <laughs> the train literally has a Mr. Beast symbol on it. Oh, that looks nice. A bit blurry, but nice. That looks pretty cool. So the brick wall might not have stopped it, but later in this video, we're going to see a five semi trucks can. But in this next experiment, I bought this car, built a giant ramp, and we're going to see how many buses it can jump over. How many buses will it jump? At least three. Four. I think it's going to jump all 12 and go into the woods. Okay. Here we go. Let's see how this goes. Oh. Oh. It didn't make it. Holy crap. It cleared most of them. <laughs> now let's do it, but with the jet engine. I may have forgot uh, to mention that the first car was just for reference. This is the really What the fudge? They freaking gave it a jet engine? <laughs> wow, it, it it soared a bit farther. It literally knocked the bus over. Oh wow. It's in the side of the bus. How does it, it keep it, doing it, that? Hey Jimmy. Yeah? You can't park here. <laughs> We have one billion Orbeez. Holy cow. We're going to drop Tariq's car from this helicopter to see if the Orbeez can cushion the fall. The only problem is we haven't told him yet. Can I borrow uh. that camera <laughs> What do you think that is over there? Yo, that's my car. <laughs> Wait, that's my car. <laughs> He's like, oh, it's my car. Wait a minute, that's my car. <laughs> I literally just parked my car earlier today. Minutes later, a helicopter just picked it up. Yeah, your car, baby. Yeah, if I know Jimmy, he's just gonna lower it nicely. Oh, really? Move it higher, move it higher! <laughs> no, Jimmy, he's definitely gonna lower it super nicely. A little higher. Right about there, that's good. Three, two, one! No, 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 no. Drop the car! <laughs> will it, will it survive? Oh, my lord! Bro, that was a perfect landing. <laughs> now let's see if Tariq's car survived. Open the floodgates. Did it make it? I don't think it did. I don't see it. Where is it? This, is, this probably took a lot of time to clean up. Yeah, I don't think the car made it. <laughs> I don't. I, yeah, the car definitely didn't make it. There you go. It should be fine. Like, you don't even really need this part. <laughs> this is wild. <laughs> and the best part is, this wasn't even Tariq's car. We picked up his car from the parking lot, dropped it in the middle of a random field, picked up a perfect <laughs> replica of his car, and then dropped that in the orbit. Nice. What is happening? This is not my car, actually. No, it's a replica of your car. Your car is in the field over there. I don't like you right now. <laughs> Back at the train, and we're going to see if these semi-trucks can stop it. Okay. These semi-trucks are massive. There's Will they stop it? I suppose Chris is wearing a Cartoon Network. He's wearing a Cartoon Network. Sure. Hey, Chandler's is secure. Do you think you'll survive? Oh, I don't know, Jim. <laughs> Here we go. Here it comes. Make sure you get that angle for us. 
Oh my lord, that looked awesome. I, 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 it's just kind of pushing it. The train tore through the semi trucks and could drag these for a couple more miles if we wanted to. Ripped them. Nice. My boy. My boy. What's happened to him? Gosh, the arm's gone. Oh. He's still attached. He's the heads over here. He's right here, boys. I don't think Chandler's test dummy made it. Train one. Train one. Everyone agrees. The train won. Two just came out and discovered I built a scale replica of their house. Ah, really? I never really played the Hello Neighbor games, so. I made realistic looking mannequins of each of the boys. I wanted to find the best place to hide to survive a meteor hitting your house. You can put your mannequins anywhere in the house you want. Try to survive the meteor crash. Okay. Hello, neighbor. That's not real. It's so hard to get this body in the I think you'll be safe now. Are you hiding them on the couch? The pillow's going to cushion the fall from the meteor. It has to work. You're telling me if a meteor is hurling at your house, you're going to hide up there. It's going to miss this section <laughs> let's see how many of the boys who will survive oh here it comes oh, i mean i only destroyed that part of the house that was only one of three meteors. okay that would that that explains it because it was just like the one part it probably wouldn't because most people probably be fine but i want to tell you guys about hello neighbor too it's an atmospheric stealth horror game about digging up your creepy neighbor's secrets that sounds scary i know of the game but i've never played it series of missing person cases in the open world of raven brook but trust no one boys everyone in the game is a suspect trust no one not even no land now we have meteor number two but this time the meteor's on fire i'll have to play the hello neighbor one before i ever play hello neighbor two I don't know if I will. Oh, Chandler. I don't think Chandler's dummy made it. Oh my god! You're definitely deceased. The meteor's still smoking. Wait a minute! I'm okay! Somehow Chris survived. I am smart. Uh, we survived, but Chandler, on the other hand, didn't make it. Right? Ah, well. Meteor! Chandler, you're now me. I'm rich. Drop the meteor when you want. Drop the meteor! Will Carl make it? Oh, I don't think Carl made it. Oh my Goodbye, Carl. Let's see if I survive. Yes. Click the link in the nice. Nolan made it. And buy the game right now. And now you know where to hide if a meteor is coming out of your house. You're welcome. For our <laughs> next experiment, if you take this chemical and mix it with that chemical. Elephant toothpaste. You get elephant foam toothpaste. In these containers, it's a hundred times what we just did. Hey, don't touch that bucket. <laughs> Back up. I need you all to find a safe spot because this next explosion is a hundred times bigger. Standing around. Okay. At least I'll be safe on the roof. Dibs on the roof. Wait, Jimmy, did we get all the elephants so we can clean their teeth with this toothpaste? <laughs> You're funny. When you pull, Chandler, you need to run. I'm 100% in the danger zone. Pull! Let's see how it goes. Oh, oh my god. Oh my lord, it's exploding everywhere. Look at it go. It filled the entire pool. It looks so cool. The pool's on fire. And that the new world record for elephant foam toothpaste. Oh, it's steamy. I want to jump in it so bad. It's the forbidden swimming pool now. We're officially cooler than Mark Rober. Yeah, so is the entire population of the earth. You know what's cooler wow. than this? Nolan's mom. Um, <laughs> you know what's cooler than Nolan's mom? What? Next experiment. This is Dave, a professional Spider-Man stunt double. This is oh. a walking Spider-Man suit, and he's going to climb this entire building. Go! Congratulations. Nice. One foot up. And are your Spidey senses tingling yet? They're tingling like crazy. <laughs> This is actually kind of cool. Those <laughs> people are just like, well, what the guy doing? This Spider-Man suit was made by Jay Laser, and the highest he's climbed with it was 200 feet. Dave's going to climb 200 feet and then climb 200 feet again up this massive skyscraper. This is nuts. <laughs> this is nuts. Comes out as these nuts. He's right there. Wait, he's actually with me. Are you taking a picture? <laughs> I don't know how far I am. I'm not going to stop till I'm finished. He's literally outside the building window. Right you got it just makes me have a lot more respect for stunt doubles. Sound like they said halfway. This is insane. It's starting to rain a bit. Rain's really coming down now. Come on. Oh wait, did the suit stop working? Dave, do you want us to let you down? I'm good. I've been oh boy. a real spider man many times. <laughs> and I don't give up. Spidey never gives up. It looks like he's got it working again. Bro, how's he doing this? I'm just amazed. This thing ain't over. The work body doubles have to do in order to make characters feel real. Just looking over the ledge to see him terrifies me. There's a reason this guy stunt doubles for Spider-Man. 
He's almost there. He's almost reached it. Four hundred feet, Dave. You are insane. Yeah, you did it. Let's go. Ten thousand dollars. Nice. You deserve this. What's the next Spider-Man movie? I can't say. He's better than Tom Holland. <laughs> you guys move out the way? Yeah, oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Versus a Lamborghini. Let's see how flat it can get. And just like throughout this video, the boys are going to see if their mannequins can survive. Oh, so boy. <laughs> just the way he was holding it. This is the safest spot in the car. I'll guard you, Kyle. Get the crush in! Let's go, baby! Will they survive? Probably not. Oh, my God! Oh, oh. oh. oh, right, oh Lord. No. Oh, <laughs> not okay. <laughs> Only Mr. Beast could do something th this ridiculous in terms of- well, I know other people could, but only Mr. Beast could think, you know what, we should crush an extremely expensive car. What? They're blowing up the Lamborghini? Oh, I guess they blew up the Lamborghini. Oh boy. Hey, I feel like those guys who farm cranberries. <laughs> that was fun. That was a lot of fun. Honestly, though, this kind of actually makes me think about that video I reacted to a li not too long ago um, from Matthew Beam, where he also did a bunch of experiments. The only difference is that this one actually took its time with each... Um, experiment and lets you kind of soak in the experiment. I that, think that's why I just I like Mr. Beast videos so much. They let you like grasp on what you're seeing and let you get a full feel for it. It makes you really enjoy it. And I had a good time. So yeah, that, that's really all I can say about that. I just had a good time. Man. Anyway, that that's all I have to say. So thank y'all for watching. If you're new to the JJ Reactor channel, don't forget to subscribe. I always look for new reaction fans to the channel. And if you have anything you would like to see me react to, go ahead and recommend it to me in the comments down below. If I decide to react to the video you recommended, I will give you a shout out at the beginning of that reaction. And if you want to see more of just me as a person, you can go ahead and check out my gaming channel, JG Crafter, where I do live streams as well as just regular gaming videos. It's, it's just lots of gaming. And yeah, thank y'all for watching and I will see you all around. Peace!